We start off on a small boat headed for the town of Wortham. The ferryman says, This is it, the dock for Wortham. That whole village has gone to hell. You sure I can't take you someplace else? The hero says, Yes, I am. Wortham is beyond the forest, I take it. Aye, follow the road and be on your guard. Unfortunate things happen to travelers in that forest. Do not worry. I have seen my share of dangers before. The hero encounters a wolf and says, There's a madness behind that wolf's eyes. An infestation? What has defiled these woods so thoroughly? With every step, the forest's rotten nature reveals itself further. I must be nearing the corruption's source. We then encounter our first sign of life. A Wuthering Guard. Ah, an adventurer. Good. The undead are assailing Ashwold Cemetery. This portal should get you there. I'm sure they'll appreciate any help they can get. We head into Ashwold Cemetery and find that a villager is under attack. Samana says, Please, no! Don't hurt me! After saving her from your attackers, she says, Thank Akarat for your help, stranger, but my husband, he's still in danger. Our home is to the north. He's all alone with those bandits. Please, don't worry about me. Help him! We head to the north to find her husband. He says, We're just simple folk. The bandit leader says, Pa, you got lucky. Come on, boys, let's deal with this little interruption. We deal with the bandit leader and talk to Ulrich. A thousand blessings upon you, friend. Ashwold's always had that occasional bandit. Nothing like this, though. What luck brings you to my door? I have my reasons. However, I heard rumors that the dead had begun to rise in Ashwold. Do you know anything about that? Of course, the whole guard's been fighting them for weeks. My son joined up at the Crypt of the Honored Dead just this morning. If you find him, I'm certain he'll help you. We make our way towards the crypt and run into a necromancer seeming to be torturing some villagers, or guards rather. She says, stop wasting my time, you peasant. I know her body was buried here. Where is Asilla's tomb? The queen's tomb was hidden. The dead deserve their rest. Wrong answer. The dead serve me, a fact you will learn soon enough. She kills the first guard. Turns to the second. You, it's your turn. So I suggest you speak quickly. Where is the tomb? I don't know. None of us do. Only the queen's handmaiden knew its location, I swear. Another necromancer shows up. Lethis, stop this. Your wanton disregard for life ends here. You will be brought to justice. Zul, how I tire of your jealous attempts to suppress my potential. No, now with the power of the world stone at my command, I will obtain true dominion over the dead. Your entire lethargic order will be swept away and replaced by one with the ambition to reshape this corrupt world. You are a relic, old man, and you are no longer needed. Lethistan raises dead around her, and we have to fight. After the fighting is over, we go and talk to Zul. Zul says, Thank you for your aid, adventurer. It appears I must go and teach my former student another painful lesson. The guard still lives, it seems. I leave him in your capable hands. Zul runs off. We talk to the guard, named Bramden. Ugh, what a day. Certainly didn't expect to get choked by some death mage when I left the stead this morning. That death mage isn't past killing for the information she seeks. That handmaiden is in grave danger. I need you to help me, or that girl is as good as dead. Light's mercy. You're right. Wait. I know. Captain Asmir at Guard's Watch. He knows the maid. If you head there right away, there may still be time. We had to find Captain Asmir. Captain Asmir says, What do you need, stranger? And be quick. I've got enough on my plate dealing with all these rotten corpses. I'm looking for Queen Asilla's former handmaiden. The girl's life is in grave danger. Gods, I'm sorry. It's been a long week, but that's no excuse. Look, the handmaiden's home isn't far. Just up the trail from here, beyond the graves. I'd join you if I could, but... It's alright. I understand. Don't worry. I will find her. We arrive at her home. To find that we're too late. Though shortly after we arrive, Zul also shows up. We talk to Zul. He says, Death has a way of following you, stranger. I didn't kill her, if that's what you're thinking. Ha, 
Of course you didn't. No, I recognize my old student's handiwork. The body is still warm, too. Hmm. You may wish to stand back. Reanimation can be... unpredictable. Rothma got my voice to the soul of the recently slain. Return to us, child. We have one final task for you. No! No! Stop torturing me. I didn't do anything. I told you everything. It's all right. No one can hurt you anymore. You're safe now. That woman, the one who hurt you, what did she want? She wanted the location of the queen's tomb. I told her I didn't want to, but she she made me. They buried the queen in the old garden, hid her tomb underneath, so no one would ever disturb her rest. I, I failed Asilla. I failed my queen. Poor girl. I'll stay here and ensure she's properly interred. You, however, need to get to that tomb. Do not let Lethys near the queen's body. We arrive at the tomb and inspect the sarcophagus. Something comes out and starts speaking. The queen's spirit will lead the way to the Black King. Laoric, soon my master, Lethys will have his wretched soul, and the damned shall bow before their new monarch. Fight with the spirit that rose from the sarcophagus. Even if you reach the manor, her task will not be halted. The ritual is underway. And we kill the skeleton mage. We catch up with Zul. Come, we must find the source of this profane rite. At its apex, we will find my wayward apprentice. Alongside Zul, we go searching for these ritual circles and try to disrupt them. Eventually, we run into Lethys. She says, damn you, Zul. Always so persistently afraid of my talent. Well, no more. I am beyond you now. Soon, Leoric's soul will be mine, and with it, I will be the greatest necromancer alive. Rothma himself will fear my name. And you, your suffering begins now. Lethus then summons a beast that we must fight. Lethus is Simulacrum. After that is killed, she says it's done. The breach is open. You cannot stop it. And I don't intend to, says Zul. You are my target, Lethys. My failure to put down before the scales of Rathma descended upon us both. Please, you can no more put me down this time than you could the last. We then talk to Zul. He says the rift is drawing strength from the skeleton king's essence. You must go inside and break the tether that connects them. And how would I do that? Kill Laoric. You'd be surprised how often that works. Lethys desires dominion over the undead, the power Diablo left within Laoric's blackened soul. Put his spirit to rest, and the rift will go inert. And with that, we reach the end of the demo. Pretty interesting to start off with. A very heavy necromancer, necromancy-based storyline that we're starting off with here. Uh, I'll be interested to see if that actually continues throughout the whole game is that like the theme of the whole game maybe Lethys is actually the main boss maybe there's some sort of necromantic theme behind the whole story it'll, it'll remain to be seen it should be interesting anyway thanks for listening i hope you guys enjoyed this little uh i don't know <laughs> what you want to call it i guess my little acting of the because you know there's videos of all this but like the people that were playing this at blizzcon they were just skipping all the dialogue, so I just had so basically I had to like go and like try to take screenshots as as quickly as possible of all the different dialogue options that popped up, and yeah, and when they weren't skipping over it, they were talking over it. So yeah, you can go and watch these videos on like YouTube and Twitch. There's different videos for the first mission that you encounter, and yeah, you, you can hear some of the voice acting here and there, but unfortunately, the people that were playing had no interest in the story and just skipped most of it or talked over it anyway yeah thanks again guys appreciate you guys please subscribe if you like what you see here like what you hear and i'll see you guys next time ggs